Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker, welcome back once again to another Call of Duty Mobile video today. I hope everyone is doing well. What we're going to be going over in today's video is all of the new teasers that we have for Season 3. It should just be so much fun. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to have some significant reactions to this because there are some really influential changes that is going to be coming to Season 3 here for Call of Duty Mobile. But with that said, if you guys do enjoy this video, a like would be awesome as well as if you guys are new that'd be cool if you guys could go and subscribe but without further ado we might as well get right into it so we begin with the official season 3 poster that was uploaded on the official Garena Call of Duty Mobile Facebook page and you guys are seeing it on screen right now so it would appear that the main slogan that they're going with season 3 is the future is now which in my opinion is a really awesome kind of setting of what we can go and expect with this upcoming season here and just even the poster itself I'm kind of a big fan of it like the red really kind of pops out almost like a neon type of glow to it everything about this poster I'm a really big fan of and let me know are you excited about this whole the future is now because I feel like season three is going to be heavily reliant on games in the COD franchise like infinite warfare advanced warfare but now we get right into the teasers themselves so this was like like I said, posted by the official Garena version of Call of Duty Mobile for their Facebook page. And this is really interesting. So we might as well begin with the first teaser here for season three. So the ICR from a default skin perspective. So just the ICR straight up with no camos, the trickster and more will be sold in the credit store, not the COD point store. So you'll be able to go and gain the ICR just straight up through credits which hey don't get me wrong it's a good thing like they're going in the right direction it's just i'm still hoping that they don't make weapons kind of the default way of doing things is just only selling them through the cod point store starting off like even though the icr is going to be coming to this game now in the form of credits i'm just not a big fan of how they have the weapons starting off just being an actual pay it to get type of thing. Now, this one is really interesting to me, and I don't know why they would go and do this, but they say Battle Packs Max Rewards tier will be reduced to 50 and not 100. More value for the same price. And dang, I don't really know if I like that. So if I'm interpreting what they said correctly here with Battle Packs Max Rewards tier will be reduced to 50 and not 100, Let's say, for example, back in Season 2, how they had the M4 CBQ or whatever the, you know, 100 tier reward was, rather than being at 100, it would now be at 50. So you could go and get it a lot faster. So I'm just confused on why they would go and say more value for the same price, because that's kind of my interpretation of what they're saying, because they do say max rewards tier, which was like, for example, the M4 CQB or whatever it's called. So I don't know if I'm a big fan of this. It's like getting to tier 100, in my opinion, isn't the most difficult thing in the world. I feel like a lot of players could easily do that within a month. So I don't know if I'm a big fan of them going and kind of splitting that time in half and you being able to go and get the max tier reward within, you know, a matter of at max, like two weeks. Going on to the next part here, this always gets me excited when they go and add stuff to the BR, but all they say is is new addition to the BR map. So this could mean a wide variety of things. Like first off, the kind of thought that goes in my head here is that they're actually planning on expanding the map and there's going to be almost like a new location, very similar to like the circus, but maybe they're actually extending out the map itself. That could be the new addition to the BR map. They could be adding in that Sky City thing, like what I mentioned in the video that I uploaded yesterday. So that could be a new addition here. Like addition could mean so many things and it isn't really specified within this post itself so i don't know let me know what do you believe this new edition is going to be like it could be the motorcycle it could just be so many things but we might as well go on to the final teaser here and yeah dude i would really love to know your guys's thoughts on this final one here but they say tdm and domination scores are going to be increased for ranked so don't get me wrong, I'm excited that they're being increased, but I don't know if I'm excited that it's only happening for the ranked mode. 
And I'm surprised that they're still keeping TDM in. I know a lot of people are kind of upset that TDM was a ranked game mode, but hey, they're still sticking with TDM being in ranked as well as domination and they're increasing the scores for that which is really weird especially for domination i wonder what the scores for domination are going to be maybe something like 120 because in my opinion I, I feel like domination is fine but tdm it would be cool to go and see that score increase but hey it'll be interesting to go and see what these scores are like now in ranked because they don't give us a specific amount that they have now increased it to so i guess we're just gonna have to go and wait and see now that was one post that was made a couple hours ago but now there's an even newer post that was made that should be pretty exciting for players as well so this new post goes as follows most of you guessed it right our captain for season three the future is now is none other than phantom a half cyborg half human he is a cold-blooded warrior who will go to any length to accomplish his mission he will be available exclusively in our brand new season three battle pass and you guys can even see a picture of him on screen right now you have the season three logo in the top left hand corner and then you have phantom right there in the middle future warrior phantom season three captain exclusive only in season three battle pass so kind of going back to the most recent post or the second post that i kind of went over in the beginning of this video i'm assuming you'll be able to go and get this phantom season three captain you'll be able to go and hit that at the tier 50 reward so it'll be pretty easy to go and get this skin and i got to say man i'm a really big fan of this skin as well now if you guys recall the season two teaser that we got all the way back in season one like late season one you were actually able to go invisible with the phantom and i don't know if that's going to be a characteristic that the skin itself is going to go and have just the ability to go invisible for a short period of time because that was like within the teaser like i said so it'll be interesting to see if any aesthetics from that is going to be turning into season three here with the future warrior the phantom it's exciting that we actually have an infinite warfare character coming to cod mobile here and a really cool one for that so they pretty much said that the phantom skin was going to be within the battle pass itself but there is supposed to be another character skin entering into the battle pass here too and it is the ftl one skin also from infinite warfare you guys are seeing just an image of what it was like back on infinite warfare this isn't the actual cod mobile models these are just from infinite warfare but yeah dude it, this looks pretty awesome i'm assuming the cod mobile version isn't gonna have that kind of like that purple glow the skin is pretty cool and i don't know for a 100 fact whether or not this skin is gonna be free within the battle pass if it's gonna be one of those like free to grind type of things or if it's only gonna be exclusive to the premium battle pass version of it the one that you actually have to spend what ten dollars for but hey man i gotta say all these season three leaks are just these teasers that we're now getting from the official call of duty mobile sources themselves it's uh really shaping up for season three to be probably one of the greatest seasons of all time i'm pretty sure when it came to fortnite season three is regarded as being one of the best seasons for that game so i just gotta say this right now man that uh season three should be a lot of fun and i hope you guys are looking forward to it just the whole slogan itself with the future is now and then based off all those links that we got for the battle royale with there being a spaceship added into the game itself there being a potential alien invasion happening in the br and then having all these multiplayer changes especially with the mech suit which is going to be so awesome to go and see how that's going to go and influence the overall multiplayer feel of the game just so many super exciting things coming to this game and it's really awesome that now we're having a little bit of a futuristic take onto cod mobile here a little bit of an influence from both infinite warfare as well as advanced warfare but ladies and gentlemen i am going to go and conclude the video there but i do have to say this this is my one request if you guys could go and check out my second channel which is parker the slayer live i either just uploaded or i'm going to be uploading it within the next couple minutes from now which is going to be the world record for the amount of solo kills in battle royale yes i just dropped a 40 bomb 
40 kills in a Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale for solos versus squads. If you guys want to go and check out that whole video, it's going to be on the second channel, Park of the Slayer Live. It would be so cool if you guys could go and do so, because that game was by far the craziest Battle Royale game that I've ever experienced. And I'm excited to go and hop back on the grind, man, because I feel like 40 plus games can be easily obtainable now. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to go and conclude the video. Thank you guys also very much for tuning in and watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to go smack a like on it as well as if you guys are new. That'd be cool if you guys could go and subscribe. But with that said, my name is Parker. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous aesthetics. I certainly am. And I guess I'll talk to you guys within the next video.